Let's all get cozy on my channel today. <laughs> that was so weird. That was dumb. Okay, yeah, but you need it because last time your crotch was showing. I know. What's up, guys? Look who's here to hang out with me. My besties, Lexi and Kristen Johns. They actually did record a video last time I was here in town, but my beautiful, charming, <laughs> loving, loving husband, Stevie, accidentally deleted it to make space for our <laughs> podcast episode. And so... I just want to thank you guys for coming back on my channel, even <laughs> though we didn't see that video. That was a really good video. I know, but we need to like maybe one it. day it can be resurrected somehow. Maybe. In today's video, we decided to do a besties Q and A. Love that. And we actually got tons of questions. How do you enjoy spending time together? Basically, like, being on a couch. Time. Yeah, just being on a couch, just like this, <laughs> yeah. and, and just eating being snacks. Chill. Just being chill, so you're not gonna see us at the club, really. Hex, no. I mean, Only me at the club. <laughs> the last person to ever be at the club. What would she be doing at the club? Nothing. <laughs> me, <laughs> me and Christine go to an event together, and she's like, it's time to go. Uh, yeah. I'm like, wait, wait, I need to spit this gum out. You only had it in for five minutes. I know, but I think I'm smacking. Here, take mine too. That's a true friend right there. If you had to swap husbands for a day, who would you pick? So Stevie, Marcus, and Cody, and you can't pick your husband. You have to pick somebody else. I would else's. pick Stevie. Really? I would pick Cody. I'd pick Cody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question, y'all. Uh, whoa, that was so Texas of me. How do they, you guys, feel about me leaving LA? You guys are friend and family goals. I feel so sad and I think it's even more sad because it's so unexpected because you guys weren't even, it was like a joke that you guys were going to move to Texas uh -huh. and we were like, oh my gosh, that would never happen. Uh -huh. And then like month after month went by and we're like, you're like, oh no. So it's just been like hard to process, I feel like. Uh -huh. yeah. I never told you this, but I cried. Oh, stop. Yeah, she, you love that. No, I think like, John told me she, she cried. I didn't. I will say, like, I don't think it's going to change our relationship at all. I mean, I feel like at this point, we're the kind of friends where we're more like family. No matter how long it goes where we don't see each other, we're still going to be just as close. And yeah. also, I mean, I understand. If I had kids, things would probably be so different. Mm -hmm. And raising children in LA is so different yeah. and so difficult. So, like, I understand why you made the decision that you did. And I'm happy for you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm just sad I'm for so myself. so sad. Mm -hmm. It really came down to like children. It came yeah. down to our family, growing our family and teeny. I also love that now when we are here, because we are going to come out quarterly. I mean, I feel like the quality time that we're... come out more than quarterly. What is quarterly? That's four times, times a year. year. Oh, I thought it was three. Oh, wow. Even less. <laughs> Great job, Suzanne. Who loves John the most? <laughs> I think we all I love think John. We all love so John. Much. What is it about that John? John? But now you are the least because you left. No, John told me in privacy, he's like, you will always be the number one person. Oh, oh really? Because like, that's what he told me last week. Wow! I hate he told that. Me. <sighs> John, we hate you. Don't you feel like Kristen's community, there's like a the perfect girl for John in her community. You know? John actually <laughs> asked a question on here. Oh, now. let's see John's okay. question. Okay, if Lexi was a dessert, which one would she be? If I was a dessert, what would I be? Hands down, a molten would, chocolate, a chocolate, chocolate cake. cake from Chili's. Yeah. Because I'm cheap and delicious. delicious. <laughs> yeah. Um, Any warm, gooey oh. chocolate chip cookie or something like that with mm -hmm. ice cream on it. That's too rich but for you. Me. I like a cold cheesecake. Ice cold cheesecake with raspberries on top. That's my... I, if you were a dessert, I think you would be something like um uh, a Cajun spiced chocolate bar. Ew, <laughs> you're disgusting, <laughs> Suzanne. That sounds gross. Chocolate that has like cayenne pepper in it. Oh, I hate that. Well, that's what you would be. Let's say mine. Okay. okay, what's your? I think hers is the. What is that called? The bramble? The poppy seed cake? No, I was really. gonna say you'd be like. Um, she'd be a chocolate chip cookie. No, you'd be a. You'd be a strawberry. Um, you'd be a strawberry fruit bar. You'd be a fruit cake. You know that? Let's see. Because you know that's your least favorite dessert. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. I just found out something really bad. <laughs> what? I've been touching my hair a lot, and I know the people in the comments are going to be really bad. Well, then stop touching your hair. It makes it greasy. <laughs> does Teeny think of Lexi and Kristen as her aunts? Mm hmm she, she does. Yes. She calls you guys TT Lexi and Auntie Chris. I've never heard her say Auntie Chris. <laughs> she does. But she goes, Kristen, and she goes, Chris. 
like the tiniest she goes teeny. she's so cute i love teeny i feel like this question how do you keep jesus in the center but are successful in the world i feel like the two go hand in hand i can't imagine success without jesus being in that mm -hmm. you know what i mean because i've just seen in my own career path how i've tried to like lead my own path at times and it's always led me to a dead end so it's like bringing God into the strategy has helped me in the sense I guess oh with, yeah with success. I, mean, I would not be sane if it weren't for my faith especially living in LA like I don't know how people do it especially for me as an actor like the constant rejection you have to deal with and all the trials that you have to deal with I just feel like God is my my strength and all of that and just knowing that he is guiding me every step of the way and just having that hope you have to make a lipstick on your teeth <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> how it's bad is that you can't tell you probably can't tell what was your first impression of each other you i remember the first time suzanne came over to my house what <laughs> i was pregnant i was very she pregnant. was so pregnant and i just remember instantly feeling like so much warmth and coziness you know when someone's just like you automatically know wow this person's so easy to talk to you so cozy and comforting that was my first impression of you i was like I she's very good i also day. thought you were very motherly really because mm -hmm. i had sweetie with me and i was about seven months also pregnant. i had just moved to la so you were like teaching me about all the things i need to do you were like your engagement is great ah! Stage mom. I turned into a stage Suzanne mom. Suzanne is my stage mom. I am her stage mom. I actually followed Suzanne before I met her. You. That's well. <laughs> what then, did you then? So well, um, so my online social media impressions. Did it add up in person when you met me? Um, you're fake. <laughs> <laughs> you're nothing like I that. Love that. No, I followed Sass. I don't know how I even found you, but I was following you, and I just thought that you. I love the way that you like presented yourself online. I love that you shared your faith, that you're really beautiful. What had happened was, <laughs> Honey, Kristen's dog, was staying at Cezanne's house, and Cezanne had just had Teeny like <laughs> two months before. And basically, Cezanne texted me and was like, Honey. Hey, can you come help me with Honey? It was just like a lot. So Cody and I went to her house to pick up Honey, and it was the first time that we were gonna meet. Well, Cezanne was upstairs um, pumping, feed, pumping right or feeding Teeny, and um, I was like, Cody, let's just go in grab honey and go because like I knew that you were a new mom and I just didn't want to invade Aww. your space or like make you more overwhelmed by having company over and well, I'll never know I'm like here take my five week old dog <laughs> I love <laughs> honey yes. until she pooped all over my bathroom <laughs> it's great so anyway we were sitting down inside and Stevie was like just hang out for a second wait here like Saz really wants to meet you guys and I was like it's fine we'll just take honey and like go Suzanne comes downstairs and she was like, hi, nice to meet you. And I was like, nice to meet you too. I've heard so many good things. Like, I love everything that you do. And I was like, we're going to go so that you guys can have your time. And she grabbed me by the shoulders like this. I was standing and she sat me down in a chair and she said, you are not leaving. <gasps> you psycho. Yeah, I was like, I really just want to talk and like get to know you. And I thought that was so sweet because for someone who's obviously so exhausted, just had a new baby, to like want to invest time in meeting a new person is, that says a lot about you. I was in the fog phase of motherhood, but at the same time, I wanted a sense of normalcy. I missed having friends around and not just being completely lost and wrapped up into the mom life yeah. responsibility. So when you guys came over that night, it was so refreshing and it just felt like, I felt like a part of my old self again. When I met you guys, you instantly had that warmth and just that just relaxed demeanor about the two of you where I was like, I need them to stay. I feel like I just want to hang out with them. I want to get my mind off of like my next pumping break or whatever. After that, we all just got super close. And like, I remember that day when I came to your house, it was so fun because when we had messaged each other on Instagram, I didn't realize, oh my God, we both live like probably 15, 20 minutes away from each other. Mm -hmm. And we both have golden retrievers. So when I set, when we set up that play date for our dogs to meet, I was just like, we'll see how this goes, you know, like, and I was just excited that Sweetie got to have a little play date to tucker her out. And when I got there, it was that same warmth that you were talking about. I got that same thing from you. And I love when like sparks fly sometimes with like friendships mm -hmm. and relationships. You just, it's just know you it's like forever, yeah. you know? Does Teeny give Alexis and Kristen baby fever? <gasps> Great question. question. Yes. Yes. 
Teeny really does give me baby fever. <gasps> Nothing makes me want to have a baby more than Teeny. Yeah. Oh. Especially Teeny was here the other night and she was she being so <gasps> you guys, We were singing songs Let's all together. Fly. She was like going in circles. Like. <laughs> she was being so cute. And then you should put the video of her pet and Grover here. She <gasps> used to be so scared of my dog and then Look. she fell in love with him. Watch this video. She was petting him. I, if I had a baby that was like Teeny, I would have a baby. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are both so engaged and intentional with her. Like you were col coloring with her. I see you being very hands on with your kids. Like, mm -hmm. okay, guys, let's create something new every day. And like, I, I see you bake some bread. Yes, together. I see you doing that. And then for you, it's like the way you communicate with her, you get down to her level, and I you're just like her. speaking her language. Oh, Meanwhile, with me, sometimes I'm just like. You're like, teeny, teeny, sing twinkle twinkle little star. So share each person's best trait or best skill. I think Lexi's best trait is she's very, she's a very good listener. Mm -hmm. She's kind of one of those first people that's just like always there for you. You can count on her. Yes. Just very She's like, a writer soft. guy. Yes. I love you guys. She thinks a lot before she does stuff. You, Kristen, I would say that your skill, first of all, is anything homemaker. Mm -hmm. Like, Kristen mm -hmm. makes you feel like you're at home wherever you go. You could be Aww. traveling somewhere and she will somehow, some way, whip, whip up a cake for you. <laughs> she just has that homey, cozy. She does. And Chris, one thing I love girl. about Kristen is Kristen's very easygoing. Like, if she's around people that she trusts, you're just down to do whatever as long as it's fun and you're with people that you love. Who cusses the most? Tazan. No way! Kristen does. Oh, oh no. Yeah, right? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hands down. But I only cuss as a joke. How do you guys um, balance work life and family life? You're type three in the Enneagram. Mm -hmm. I am two. I'm a three. I'm a two. She's wing a two. three. I feel like I'm me two, and you. I'm a three wing two. I feel like you've had to really learn how to create that balance. I'm still like in the process of finding that balance, and I feel like you're really just good at, like, when you're done working, you'll just have family time. You know what I'm saying? What damn time yeah. does your work end? Never. That's the problem. <laughs> we turn it off at 5 p.m. on the mm -hmm. dot. I want to know our age differences. Oh, we all know you're the baby in the group. I'm 30, 28, 24. Mmm. <laughs> I remember when I was 28 and 24. Oh my God, a straight cat. cat. Should we get it? All right, guys, any other last minute questions? Um, would you ever chop all your hair off? Don't you think she'd look cute with like you a straight bob? Like? like a little bob? No. Let me see. I mean, you're so beautiful, you could pull off anything, anything. But I like, like you with long hair. Imagine oh. Chris with a pixie cut. <gasps> Actually, Marcus would kill you because the other night he said my fav one of my favorite traits about Kristen is her hair. Yeah, Isn't I freaking get it trimmed this much off and he like has a mental breakdown. <gasps> he like loves her hair so much. My last question to you guys is are you subscribed to me <laughs> and Lexi's YouTube channel? Yeah, Make sure you subscribe to all of our channels and let us know what videos you want to see next. Can I just say, when the three of us get together, Lexi is clearly the one that has her head on her shoulders. Like, mm. we need prayer, mm. I feel. Like She's glue. the glue that, like, keeps us sane. And sticky. You mm. keep us stuck together. All right, guys. Well, that's it. The lighting's getting dark, so that means we need to wrap this up. We should up. have been like this in the video. Mm, yeah. Just because I'm moving to Austin, that doesn't mean that we're not going to be around and seeing each other. They're going to move to Austin. I know it. God told me. And it's just going <laughs> to take so a few long. years of convincing, but they're going to also move to Austin. They just need to get knocked up first. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the hill country. Bye. In Austin. Bye.